Hey everybody, welcome back to Pokemon the Indigo Disc. I forget what we're playing. It's been a while. It's been a little while. Um, let's have a little look. Okay, first off, we got Ray. We got Baham. They've evolved, right? They got some items now. We got some stuff. Uh, I sorted out the shenanigans. Um, and I even went and got a some BP. Look, I got 4,400 BP. I did that while on vacation, right? <laughs> it was a shit vacation. Don't worry about it. It was, it was fine. Um, I mean, it wasn't really a vacation. It was just me having a Christmas Christmas break. We got hundreds of Pokemans um, to do. Uh, let's actually, let's accept that first. I think we got some of this shit as well. Oh, look, we got a protector. That would have come in handy like fucking hours ago. We got a blueberry thing. And we got um, some moon balls. Very nice. And we got a... The fuck is that? A metal alloy. Oh. Metal alloy. What is that used? No. And two is 200 Pokemon. Is some sort of moon ball? I don't know. I don't know. We've got loads. We are obviously we have not got Torchic. That's what we need to do. That's what we need to adjust. I transferred a whole bunch of starters from um from Pokemon Home. Um, just to up our dex numbers. So we don't need to fuck around with them. Um, I, well, I transferred what I could. Uh, and I deliberately avoided the Torchic. But I wanted to actively collect Torchic. Now, I need to discover the buttons. Um, uh, this is actually coming out before. I think this video is actually... I'm recording this on the day it's coming out. Um, where do we go? We go over here, right? We have to go to the entrance to get to our room. Uh, I'm recording this on the day it's going out um, because I ran out of Pokemon episodes to put up. Um, which means I'm pretty sure I've got some episodes left. Uh, Pikmin is. I think just started. I think Pikmin might have been yesterday. Pikmin got yesterday? I uploaded in batch, so I don't actually. <laughs> oh, you know, a little bit behind the scenes of me just not knowing what I'm doing. Um, it's fine. I'm just getting back in the swing of things. Bug Terra Shards. We don't want that. That's not great for us. I don't really care about the Terra Shards. Um, but yeah, Pikmin I think went up yesterday. The first episode of Pikmin. I recorded that a little while ago. Um, but that, that's great. I really, really enjoyed playing that game. I hope you guys enjoy that series. Uh, so we got that going up. And I don't think... Still got a couple of episodes of Front Mission. So there's going to be a weird... A weird little segment where I'm like, "Hi, I'm back from I'm back from my little break. Uh, um, hopefully your Christmas was lovely. I hope you had a great time um, and Happy New Year. It's 2024 now, isn't that exciting?" To I'm going on a break uh, <laughs> in front mission, so it's going to be a weird uh, situation. What room do we need to go in? It's the league room, isn't it? It's the league club room. That's right. That's right. We're getting back into it. We're getting back in the swing of things. Here we go. We go. That's right. We go to this stupid computer. I want to contribute BP. And we want to contribute to. You can test us for an iron printer. No, I don't want that. Uh, uh, only ways to fix on photos. No, don't care about photos. Shut up, photography club. You ain't getting no more but No my BP. Ah. Uh, we get the fantasy theme. I don't know what that means. Room for decorating. Oh, I see. I don't care. I'm not paying 400 BP to decorate. The 300 BP to to repaint this shit. I'm not doing that shit. I don't care. I don't. I'm never in this room. Not like I'm hanging it out in this room, is it? Uh, smart speakers. Okay, no. Rarium club. Here we go. Boosts the biodiversity of the savannah. Where's Torchic again? Who's in Polar, right? Here we go. Ola. Yeah. Okay, this will make um, the starters, like, uh, start spawning. Hey, I'm from the Terrarium Club. Thanks for so much for your support. Thanks to you, Strife. We're ready to fine tune the Terrarium's environmental setting. And this is at the BP. You donated to us today. We have to upgrade the environments to the Polar Club. New Pokemon will be available there now, including Piplup. Piplup? 
Yeah, as for a Piplup. Yeah, we don't have to do that every time. That's not 3,000 BP a person, right? No, no, no. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. That would be garbage if that was the case. So grindy. Entrance? No. Rarity. Here we go. Alright. Now we can go finally find ourselves a Torchic, I believe. Right. This is the thing. This is the fly. I think the cave was like around here-ish, right? We don't want to... Let's fly here because we don't want to start any dragon training bollocks until we're ready. Oh, that sounds true. Nice. Also, it'd be nice if we actually, you know, saw a few of the other stars. Would be nice. Right, right, right. I haven't seen any yet. The dugong. You got some more BP. The BP system. I, I like having little objectives. I think they need to come a little bit more fast and furious, you know? Like, they are so slow. It's so slow um, to gather the, that BP, uh, especially if you're playing by yourself. Um, I don't think any of my friends even have this, uh, so I, <laughs> I was unable to, put, to get them all in here and just let them do the work for me. I was unable to do that. to do it all by myself. In Christmas Eve. Christmas Christmas Eve morning. I was it was like 4 a.m. and I was just sitting in bed with a, with my switch. <laughs> grinding out BP. You can believe that. It was a it was Fucking ridiculous. I was gonna say it was a nightmare, but it wasn't actually a nightmare. It was kind of fun. Like, I don't dislike the system. I just think it needs to be a little... Uh, a, a little, uh, more... Uh, kind, I think. I'm looking for a cave here somewhere. There's the cave behind it, right? I, which I don't think it's gonna be in this one, I don't think. Oh, do you think that metal alloy is to evolve? What's... The, that dragon thing that we just passed into that bridge thing. No, there's no torch in here, although it is suspiciously empty. Um, there was that other one, wasn't there? There was one up here. I think is more more likely because it already had Pokemans in it, didn't it? It already had Pokemans. We just had to. Go and get him. But I think we'll do that. We must be. There's like a drop. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yo, there's an Oshawa. Look at that. Oh, we have. I have that. Though. It's still very cool. What's that cave? That's too big of a cave. Um. What was it? There was like a weird gap in the mountain, right? And we were like, oh, it's got to be there. Yeah, maybe. I need to remember this platform. The hell? Uh, let's just head up in this general direction. Okay, look, that's, that's our goal. Our goal is fine. As long as we find the torching by the end of this episode, we're fine, okay? That's our one goal. Is to acquire torching. There's a Piplup there. Fantastic. I don't dislike Piplup. Piplup's pretty cool. I need to remember the little, uh, little doodad, the little sticky out doodad. And maybe the caves next to that. Arrived at our destination. That's lucky. Oh no! Here, 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 here. 
It was down here because there was this, this like this like gap, right? Yes, cave. Here we go. Logic. Not. Doesn't seem like this is the cave. I didn't mean to attack you. <laughs> oh my god, you can't even fit in here. Um, run away. They didn't actually mean to start a fight. I just wanted you to clear them out. That's it, Ray. Clear these suckers out. Let's get some empty spawn slots for us, uh, our boy. Okay, there you go. I don't know if that's how it works in this game. I'm not. I'm not 100 sure that it. Shiny? I don't think that's that shiny. It's so hard to tell. You still can't tell, can't see. Nice. Nah, I do have a shiny one. I do I do have one in the box. Um what is it? A ghost? It's a ghost. It's dead. We're massively over leveled to it now. Um, what's it, Ray? Lock it out. That gives us some juice. Like, that should give us some BP by default, I feel. It doesn't, sadly. Just gives us the LP. The standardized LP. The snubble again. Snubble. I don't want you. Looking for a torch. Come on. Feel good about this cave. But this is the one. Surely. Uh, okay, there's no Pokemon here. Alright, we're gonna run up we're gonna run up top and see if there actually was a cave up there. And then we'll come back. Perhaps I should have re-looked at the uh Torchic location. <laughs> Oh, there is a cave up here. Oh shit! Oh, it's tiny. <laughs> Never mind. No, but there was a cave up there. I did remember that. <laughs> I should be praised. Be praised for that. It was like it's a hyper potion. That was probably worth the extra effort. All right. Oops. It's okay. I'm not gonna fight you. Go right, back down here. This has got to be it, then. Right? Yeah. This this guy. This guy. That metal alloy. It's got to be to evolve him, right? He evolves into like this bridge thing now. None of you. None of you. As much as I like you, none of you are a torture. It might even be the correct place. <laughs> We could just be killing these things for no fucking reason. Oh god, Ray. Ray, those blood-stained hands. Is this what you come here for? Is this the peak entertainment that you... that you click on these videos for? I appreciate that. <laughs> I appreciate it if it is the uh, chosen entertainment of yours. No, doesn't look right at all. This doesn't look right at all. Okay, beat him up. Um. Okay, I think I think I better just look it up, right? I think I think I've wasted enough of yours and mine time. Do we do we all agree? Alright, watch the second. The second I look away from the screen, though. The second I look away from the screen, you know that bastard's gonna spawn. No, he's gonna spawn. Oh! Okay, that was. And you are. You are gonna be so angry. Well, actually, I would have been ecstatic if it actually was. Okay. That'd make good telly. Uh, okay. Fine. I'll go actually look at where the hell I'm supposed to be looking. Okay, so this is the cave. We just need to leave and enter and leave, enter and leave, enter and leave until we see one. There's even one on the map, look. 
Yo, here's one right here. This is the one. This is the one. This is our boy. This is our poor chick. Level oh, 71. <laughs> It's such an unnecessary. Uh, what should we catch it in? Well, I guess we just gotta try to for it. We just had to literally just enter and leave the cave. That, like, makes Pokemon spawn in the cave. It is the cave with the Matang in. It was, it was very simple. It just, just sitting inside the cave waiting for it was not doing us any favors. Um, okay. Give it a nickname? Sure. We're gonna nickname this Torchic. We're gonna nickname it uh Cho. Choco. Choco. Cho Choco Bo. That's his name. Because my Chocobo in Final Fantasy 14 is named Blazekin. There you go. Extra points if you knew that. Oh, we've even seen a blaze again. Look at that. Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, Flame Boy had one, didn't he? All right. So all we had to do is leave and exit, leave and exit, leave and exit. All right. Now time for the big reveal. Gotta get all this stuff on our boy. Let's give it a rare candy. Let's just evolve this guy up. Here we go. My favorite Hoenn star. The one I had as a as a, a tiny child. Remember going on holiday for the first the for well it wasn't for the first time, but I went on holiday and um about like a week before the vacation, uh my dad was like, I'm gonna buy you a Game Boy game, um so you've got something to do uh, whilst, you know, in the evenings and at night so that you're not bored and you don't annoy me basically uh just fair enough i was like okay cool um and we went to toys r us at the time and we got this little piece of paper uh because toys r us sucks right it sucks for buying video games at toys r us you had to get these little uh instead of like the games on the shelves like you would see it like game or something um uh, or GameStop nowadays um you had to go to the sh the game section of toys r us which was already you had to like walk two miles once getting in the door uh, to get to, and you had to pick up this little piece of paper. There was like box arts, uh, like like attached to the shelf shelving, um, and then there would be piece of papers in these like there'd be tons of little paper in the thing. You take the paper out, um, the one you wanted. In this case, it was Pokemon Ruby, but... and then you'd have to walk around the entire fucking store to get to the end. Um, like it was some sort of fucking Ikea. Uh, and you hand it in, hand it to the, um, register, register person, and they would scan it, and they would charge you 50 quid, give you the piece of paper back, <laughs> and then you had this piece of paper, and you were 50 quid less. Then you had to go to another desk, and hand it into the guy there, and be like, yo, can I get, um, can I get, uh, this please? And he'd be like, sure, let me go find it. Uh, usually it was some kind of like, it, quite it probably slightly high dude, um, at least in my experience. You go, yeah, I was sure, dude, and then he'd go in the back for like ten minutes, and you'd have to stand there and wait while he found this game in the back, and then he'd come out with it and be like, here you go, and you finally left the store. Right? <laughs> it was a fucking nightmare. Toys R Us was so bad. Um, we want Blaze Kick, right? I feel like we want Blaze Kick. Um, let's get rid of that. I don't want this shit. Blaze Kick is its signature. We want Blaze Kick. Um, and then it come. Oh, it's a fucking score bunny right there. Look at this. Oh, I mean, I already have one, but <laughs> yeah, well, but I was excited to see the score bunny. Um, and then anyway, and then you would uh. And then I was in the car in the morning. Um, and I was given given my Pokemon Ruby. And it sat on the side. It sat on the side in the kitchen for a week, tormenting me. 
uh, until I was able to. Oh, it's gonna probably gonna kill him. Well, sorry, Squall Bunny. I should have been paying attention. Um, and then I finally got to play it the morning of, and got to and got to pick Torchic as my starter. The Pokemon Ruby. And um, I think, honestly, I think that's probably my favorite Pokemon game, Pokemon Ruby. Uh, maybe because part of the uh, part of the reasoning behind it. Um, I don't know why I'm flying off. Uh, part of the reasoning behind it was potentially um, the situation. You know, we were on holiday, I had a nice time, and I got to play the new Pokemon game. It was great. Um, I give him like 10 of these. One would be like up with the others, right? So like at least 80. Give him like another five. I right, guess yeah, perfect. It's perfect. Um, all right then. Actually, it's easier to go through the Pokemon section, isn't it? Uh, let's have a look at this guy's uh, moves and stuff. It's attack up, special defense down. Um, I can live with that. Honestly, honestly, I'm not too upset with that. We've got Blaze Kick, Flame Thrower. Hmm, I don't like these moves. Let's have a look. Remember moves? What kind of moves do we have? Crap. Doesn't Torchic learn Peck? Aerial Ace. Aerial Ace could be actually pretty, pretty good. Brave Bird. Be pretty good. Some like some sort of flying type move would actually be very very useful. So let's let's learn aerial ace for now. Um, get rid of reversal for it for now. We'll get him a, a better flying move. We'll teach him. Um, is it him? It is him. It probably doesn't overly matter. Um, okay, TMs. Let's have a look. What we got? We got low kick. I don't even want low kick. Bulldoze. That could be a fun one. Rock tomb. Potential. Uh, low sweep. That could be pretty good. Lowering the target speed at the same time. That might be all we have. Shadow claw. That could be very useful, actually. I don't... Um, who else has, like, ghost sort of situation? So that could be... That could be a help, I think. Brave Bird again. Brave Bird hurts me, though. I don't like moves that hurt me. I kind of like more to hurt me, no, no. Oh my god, ball. Watching Sands. Brick Break could have been good, couldn't it? That would have probably been the one. Mm. Okay, let's do... Someone has Thunder, right? Someone has a Thunderable sort of situation. Get rid of this one, because this hurts me as well, isn't it? I don't, don't like that. Um, I think Brick Break is probably the best fighting move, right? Or it's at least my favorite. Um, So let's go... In fact, let's give this a bunch of, like, feathers, because he hasn't had shit, right? What we got? Back stats? Beautiful. They're yours. Have them both. HP? Yeah, have it. What we got here? Defense? Special defense? Oh, fuck it, have it. Um, I know this isn't optimal, by the way, it's fine. This is just for, like, story, so we're not, we're not too worried. Too worried. Just giving it a bit of everything. Pretty good. Oh, 15 of these, that's great. Here you go. Oh, you have the extra floor as well, I didn't mean to... You mean to skimp. Um, so I've given a bunch of these to the others as well. I uh, don't care about that. What's this? Special defense stat? Yeah, I've got probably a little. 
Ability patch. What is its ability? Why am I so bad with controls? It's thing is blaze. And HP is low. That's kinda of boring. Could be a could be a lifesaver. It's kinda of boring. And I've never used one of these ability patches. So we we're, we're just gonna use it. We're gonna use it. Yeah, I do. Got speed boost. I don't know what that is. Oops. No, I don't want to change the battle for uh the, the, the summary. Right, we've got speed boost. Pokemon's speed stat boosted every time. That's actually fucking incredible. That's a great ability. Okay. Fantastic. Um right, let's go to the center and make a make a thing. Make a make a TM. I would like a TM made, please. Of fighting. Can we make a brick break? Yo, drain punch is pretty good. We can't afford that though. Uh reversal. Close combat up hand. Make the target flinch. This move fails if the target is not ready. Target is not readying a priority move. Oh, that sucks. Oh. Am I losing my fucking mind? Oh, the other's bit break. Okay, this is great. Actually, Drain Punch, I think I've, I'd have Drain Punch, but we don't have any Krogunk juice, so we have enough to make this. We will. Well, brick, brick Break's great, right? Because I feel like they're going to be using... They're going to be using that sort of shit, aren't they? Like light screens and stuff. Um, Yeah. We do have a flying move that isn't Aerial Ace. But it is just coverage. Flying. Acrobatics, no, not even as good. Uh, S slash, no, can't even learn. I can't learn any of this shit anyway. Alright, it's good. Good the way it is. Is there an item that makes you ignore the damage from, like, Bra shit like Brave Bird? Is that a thing? Uh, even in the right fucking thing. Um, quick call, no. Off there, no. Black belt, that could be pretty useful. Charcoal, that could be probably be a bit charcoal. Be a bit basic and give it a charcoal. This offensive vest boosts the holder's special defense stat, but prevents the use of status moves. It doesn't have any status moves, right? Or does any fire type move count as a status move? I feel like Thunder Wave is a status move, right? That could actually probably be pretty good for Rhyperia, actually, couldn't it? Because Rhyperia's special defense stat fucking sucks. Razor Fang. Probably hook target a flinch whenever the holder successfully impacts damage. Let's actually let's give it that. Sounds great actually. Like any move we use could potentially make it flinch. That's fantastic. Um alright, hold on everybody. Welcome back. We're back at it. It's the new year, it's 2024. I hope you guys are gonna have a fantastic year. Uh, with me, obviously. Um, and I'll see you all next time. Um, we'll take on this lady next time. We'll go and uh, battle, battle the fairy lady. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all then.
Bye-bye.